Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to insert shapes in Microsoft Word. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the Word application and then select the Insert tab. Select where it says Shapes right above Illustrations and click on the drop down. So you have recently used shapes you can access, or you can go ahead and just scroll down for more specific shapes that might be a little bit more unused, perhaps. So you got different block arrow keys, you got equation shapes, stars and banners, callouts. So definitely pretty cool here, guys. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and actually insert a couple of shapes in here, I would say. So just to give you guys an example. So once you select the shape, you can actually drag and determine how big you want it to be within the Word window here. And you're going to see Shape Format tab will appear up here at the top. And you can customize a whole bunch about these particular shapes. You can change the style by clicking the little expand arrow down here. Change the different colors as well as different options if you have different presets in here that maybe you've saved already and again pretty straightforward on that end guys for that you can also change the outline of the shape so different shape outline colors and you can change the weight of it too by making how thick you want the borders to be and you can change the color of the shape of course you know that'd be really crazy if it did not include that and you can change the effects as well if you click the drop down. You can make it even 3D or different shapes or orientations here, guys. So pretty cool. I mean, obviously, you know you can rotate these images, but it just gives you guys some different effects that you can apply to the shapes here. So pretty cool. And let me, you know, undo a couple of those steps here. I want to have it look like this for right now. You can change the word art text effect sort of appearance here by clicking the drop down, and you can transform the image as well. You can distort it here as well. You can make it bigger or smaller, the inside or outside of the shape. So you can do a whole lot with these particular shapes, probably more than most of you guys would ever need, frankly. But as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.